All right, winter is here, and although the snow has melted here in western Pennsylvania, it is still very cold. And as I look around, you can see it is pretty bleak here in terms of the trees, barrenness, and the things around us. And we know that each season there are different changes. And so the one thing that I do know, though, is, and I love as I look around here, and I see, you know, in the very back there might be some pine trees back there and as I look around over there there are some pine trees over there and as I keep rotating around I see that there are some pine trees and those oh there they are and those are the fruits of those trees and so as I think about a new season that is upon us I think about how those trees have deep-seated roots and those specific trees are actually made to withstand. They have been designed to withstand the colder temperatures and to keep their evergreen blossoms, if you will. Those needles are their blossoms and are the fruit. And of course, we have the pine cones and all that come from pine trees. But as we think about that, I want to be like an evergreen tree. I want to be like the tree that no matter what the season, that it continues to bear fruit. We know that in Jeremiah 17, it tells us, you know, that a tree's roots will go down deep and that even during a drought, that it will continue to pr produce fruit and bear fruit. And so as I think about this season and I think about how many of these trees have lost, you know, their leaves and whatnot on them, I think about those pine trees and I think about how I want to be like that. And so I'm challenging you because I know that whatever your circumstances are too, that you want to still be a fruit bearing tree. You still want to have that evergreen lushness to you. And so no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what 2020 has brought you, how can you still continue to produce fruit? And so we do that, of course, by keeping our joy, not letting our peace, you know, waver. And of course, by serving others, still putting ourselves out there and finding opportunities to help others. So I certainly hope that this message today provides for you some hope, H-O-P-E, help one person every day. So I want to challenge you with the question is, are you an evergreen? So... Think about that today and think about how you can be the tree that like these pine trees standing tall behind me are still producing fruit in this cold, wintry, wet season. Have a great day, everybody. I'd love to hear from you. If this is a message that has helped you, of course, I always love hearing that. And if it is something that you think might help somebody else, then I always want you to share that as well. Have a great day and a great week, y'all.